Our goal in this lecture is to display a list of jokes instead of just one. And to add some visual jazz into our application, we're going to start using the Twitter Bootstrap UI framework and specifically the card style for our joke component. By the end of this lecture, you're going to know how to use arrays in TypeScript and you're going to know how to use the ng4 directive to repeat an element in your HTML. So I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to call it the jokes list component. I'm going to annotate it with the component decorator. I'll give it a selector of joke list. And I'll leave the template blank for now. I'm going to add a property, a property called jokes. And for the type of that property, I want to set it to object and then it's opening and closing square brackets. So I showed you in the previous lecture that the colon and then word syntax means we're giving the property a type. When the type also has these opening and closing square brackets, it means it's going to be an array containing this type. So this is going to be an array of objects, a list of objects. Another perfectly legal way to write this would be something like this. Array here is a generic type and we can pass to array another type. We'll cover generic types more in the next section, but generally I also just prefer this syntax. I believe it's just clearer at a glance that we're actually dealing with an array when we use the opening and closing square brackets. So now we've declared a property which is a list of jokes. Let's create a constructor and initialize this array with some hilarious cheese jokes. Okay, so that looks like our joke list component class set up. We've got the jokes property. It calls an array of objects and in the constructor, we're initializing the jokes property with an array of objects, each object having a setup property and a punchline property. So now let's deal with the template itself. I'm going to copy and paste in some starting template code. So you'll notice in our template code, we're using some classes. There's one called card, card block, card title, card text. These classes are from the Twitter Bootstrap UI library, and it's a style called a card, which displays kind of a rectangle with a border. In the card title, in the H4, we're going to want to place the setup, and in the P tag, we're probably going to want to place the punchline. And really, we want this element, this card block, repeated once for each joke in our array of jokes. So to support that, we're going to add some special syntax called an ng4 onto the card element like so. So this syntax here, this ng4 syntax, will create a new HTML element using the div element it's attached to as a template for every joke in the jokes array. It will also make available to the template element a variable called joke, which is the item in the joke array it is currently looping over. So the syntax for ng4 is let, and then you give a name for the thing that you want to call each item of, and then the array property on the component we want to loop over. So this ng4, this is what we call in Angular A directive. Specifically, it's something we call a structural directive since it changes the structure of the DOM. We're going to go through more built-in directives later and also you'll learn how to create your own. So now we can display properties of this joke object in the HTML using our mustache syntax. So let's now put the setup in the H4 tag. 
and the punchline in the p tag. Okay, so to use our joke list component in our application, we need to go into our ng module. We need to add the joke list component to our declarations. And because we want to use the joke list component, let's bootstrap it onto our application. Let's say we're telling Angular here that we want the joke list component to be the root component for our application. And looking back at the joke list component, we change the selector joke to joke list. So let's now go into the index.html file and let's change the tag name to be joke list as well. So now when we run our application, we are now seeing multiple jokes being printed on the screen, just as we expected. A quick tip if you've worked with Angular 1 before, then you've probably used the ng repeat directive. ng4 is the analogous directive in Angular 2. Its syntax is slightly different, but they have the same purpose. So in summary, when we declare an array in TypeScript, we also tell it what type of thing the array holds. And we can repeat the same element multiple times in Angular using the ng4 directive with the element the ng4 directive is attached to being used as the template.